So what exactly are pulses? Turns out that's a really good question. Okay, listen, I know this isn't the most riveting subject, but bear with me because we'll be exploring the world of beans together, and I swear that by the time we're through here, you'll have people kneel before you in rapt attention, quietly absorbing your vast stores of pulse knowledge at whatever social functions you frequent. I promise you'll never be the same. Probably. Okay, let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Beans and lentils are both flowering plants in the legume family Fabaceae, with most commonly consumed beans being members of the genera Phaseolus, Pisum, Vinia, Visia, Caesar, and Glycine. Lentils are also within the Visia tribe under Lens culinaris, along with fava beans and a whole lot of vetches with awesome names like the tufted vetch, Carolina wood vetch, Narbonne bean, and hairy terror. Most vetches are not eaten by people and mostly used as livestock fodder, so we won't get into them because we're here to hang out with the Visii, to bask in the glowing company of those lentils and fava beans. Is it confusing that fava beans and lentils are more closely related than, say, favas and kidney beans? Or that chickpeas aren't peas at all but have their own bean genus of Caesar? Yes, yes it is. Pulses are a confusing subject with lots of misdirection and some outright deception. But don't let the common beans' protean terminology put you off. It's not rocket science, it's just some light taxonomy. Let's get a couple smaller genera out of the way before we move on to the big one, Phaseolus vulgaris. Vigna, which contains commonly consumed species like black gram, mung beans, which are most often sprouted, cow peas, black-eyed peas, and the yard-long bean, Caesar, of which the only species commonly eaten are chickpeas or garbanzo beans, and pisum, which is the pea. Glycine has the mighty glycine max, the soybean. The Venia Visia, Caesar, Pisum, and Glycine genera all hail from Africa, the Middle East, Asia, and Europe, and were some of the first cultivated crops that we know of going back to about 11,000 BC in the case of the lentil. Some of these beans used to be known as Phaseolus, but these days the Phaseolus genus consists of beans from North, Central, and South America. Most beans that are eaten today are of the species Phaseolus vulgaris. That would include kidney beans, black beans, white navy beans, and pinto beans, among others. Phaseolus lunatum is the lima bean, named after the Peruvian city, so say lima, not lima, and Phaseolus coccineus, which is the runner bean. So now that we've gotten all of this naming business out of the way, what are pulses? Seeds? Yes. Sora sesame seeds pulses? No. So what makes pulse seeds different from other seeds? Well, pulses are legumes. Ah, so are peanuts pulses? No. Okay, why not? Peanuts and soybeans have a higher fat content and don't count as pulses. Wait, so soybeans aren't pulses? No. I'm thoroughly confused that a bean would not count as a pulse. Listen, I don't make the rules. Okay, so what's the definition of pulse? Well, technically speaking, a pulse is the dried seed of a leguminous flowering plant with little to no fat content. As far as I can tell. I think. Okay, so peas are pulses then? Dried peas are pulses. Why aren't fresh peas pulses? Listen, I have no idea who came up with this stuff and why, but what I do know is that a pulse is the dried seed of a leguminous flowering plant with little to no fat content. As far as I can tell. I think. If you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, subscribe and notifications and all that because there's a lot more bean content on the way. 